Right, for shot number two, I'm going to one of my favourite locations. I love taking pictures of this. I'll show it you now. Yep, you guessed it. Dover Castle. And it's kind of... It's, it's almost nine o'clock, so it's dusky. But it's not pitch black yet. So it's just setting up the right composition for... I think what I'll do is take two shots, one of the castle just in the twilight and then I'll also try to get some trail lights. But this one is a strange one for me and I'll tell you for why. Um, years and years of early morning rising for my commuting or driving to my contracts means that I'm an early bird. So as the night's drawing out we're getting later and later to get my shots so to get this video complete i'm gonna to have to sacrifice some um you know late nights well early nights so that at least i can get the shots out so i'm going to set up let's have a look here what i'll do is put the live view on the 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 setup i've got going here is the castle without trail lights and then i'm going to do the castle with some trail lights, so you're going to get two shots out of this, if nothing else. So can I do live view for you? Let's see if I can do live view. Yeah, look at that, isn't that pretty? It's not quite dark. If I zoom out, we get some of these street lights. How's that for a composition? The keep of the castle in the top left third leading line of the hill coming down. Basically, that's it. That's the composition. And now I've just got to decide how long to make it. And again, I'm, I'm in manual priority, and, and it's, it's my comfort zone. I'm in total control of the, of the camera. I can decide how long I want to run the exposure for. Um, it won't be bulb, so anything up to 30 seconds. And I can control the aperture and the field of depth feel to death I'm still calling it that after what 20 videos on my on my channel depth of field <laughs> it's all good stuff I do like this photography now I sit at home and I think am I going to go out tonight am I going to go out tomorrow right I'm going to take the app um I'm going to take the live view off now and we will have you look at the camera and the settings. First of all I'm going to take a shot of the castle at about four seconds, maybe three or four seconds. I want to take a shot without the cars. So I'm going to try three second at f4.2, remembering I've locked the focus in. No cars coming so let's take a shot. Oh I like that. I've got my auto white balance I believe as opposed to night or dark Whack. This histogram is pushed right to the left so technically too dark and what I'm seeing here is take the histogram off all this area is too dark so if I reduce if I increase the speed it might lighten that up let's give it a five second burst no cars coming so increasing that to five seconds Yeah, that's good. I like that. Still, It's still pushed to the left, but it's not actually clipping it. 38 millimetres I'm on there. So that's the first shot. I don't think I can do any better than that. That's really nice. Got some kind of flare coming up here, if you can see. But that could be... There's a mist that's coming in. See the flare coming up here? Actually, I'll display this picture for you now while I set up for the long exposure with the trail lights. Bright lights, bright 
don't know how this is going to look. What? Right, I've now got the composition that I want. Can I put that in front of me, make it a bit dimmer? No, because then you don't see me at all. Uh, I've got the composition I want. It's a case of sitting around, standing around now for a few moments just to see if I can get enough traffic. Where, what, what are we now, Tuesday night? April the 20th? Everyone's at home. Oh, I know, they might be watching Chelsea play Brighton with the whole Super League furore going on. You know, will the big six join or leave? Will it affect the Premier League and the Champions League? Do you really care? Right, so let me go through this. I'm keeping ISO 100. Yes, I could bump it up to 400, 800, 1600 because it's dark, it's night time. Keeping it at 100 because I've taken shots here before with a high, when in fact with auto, um, auto ISO set and it pushes it to the high heavens and I get grain. And So I'm learning that a low ISO keeps the noise level down. But what that means is I have to adjust my speed and my aperture. And I like manual setting because that allows me to do that. So what I've got, I've got 20 seconds. I've got F10. The exposure gauge or guide thing is pushing to the left. But I know when the trail lights turn up, every time a car comes, it goes that way. So come on, you lot, go down this way. And now I'm losing my train of thought. This video will go on forever and ever. So I've set it for 20 seconds. I've set it for F11 and uh, F10, F11 and ISO 100. So when I click my fingers, that's when I'm going to take the picture. Actually, it didn't look that bad. There weren't enough trail lights. I love the clarity of it. Getting a bit excited about all of this. There's a kind of hush all over the world tonight. I can see stars. As I was driving down here, it was getting all foggy. Right, we don't want this video to go on too long, because otherwise I won't have time to do all the other shots. I think I got my shot. I'm quite pleased with that. I dropped the aperture down to f16, kept it at 20 seconds, and there was a car coming up and a car going down. So I'm quite pleased with that. That was... Um, dropping it to f16 i had this previous shot which you'll see now overlaid on the image um, and the sky was just too light so i thought well if i close the aperture to f16 keeping it at 20 seconds um, and i got this shot so yes this one works right that's the end of this shot